Hey guys, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create your own fave icon, put it on your site, or convert it to an ICO file, then put it on your site. And yeah, that's basically what we're going to do. If you don't know what a fave icon is, I'm going to show you right away. A fave icon is basically those personalized icons each site has. It's basically favorite icon, so it's basically the head icon that the site has. So it's in the tabs bar, it's in the well the tabs bar, the bookmarks bar, and the bookmarks tab. Also in favorites for Internet Explorer or anything else you need you might use. Okay, so first of all we're going to go through on how to create this. Uh, I'm going to do it in Photoshop CS4. If you have any other version, please use that. Uh well, it probably works. It works for CS3 as far as I know. It might work for CS2 as well and under. I have no idea. But we're just going to make a random fave icon if you already know how to do it and you have it ready. Skip this part. Um, okay then, we're just going to go on File and New. Normally the size would be 16 by 16 because the fave icon has to be really small. But we can't really draw with that. It's going to be really small. I'm going to show you. Here, this is how small it will be. We don't really want to work with that. So we're just going to click on New and we're going to set it as 250 because 250 or 16 goes up in 250 and uh, that way we can easily convert it without distorting how it looks now take your gradient tool and we're just going to pull a straight line from the middle of your rectangle and and here we have a little background gradient you can choose the gradient you want from here you can also choose the pattern I like having that pattern uh, I'm just going to save this as gradient. If you want to save it as gradient, go and f uh, click this little thingy and then new gradient custom, which is going to call it. And done. Now, we are going to click our rectangle tool and hold it in. We're going to take our custom shape tool. You might have your ellipse tool activated. Just take your custom shape tool. Now, uh, what you want to do is click this little Th rectangle over here that says if you fill layers I think well fi fill pixels fill pixels then take uh, your shape you want we are just going to take this little star here anything then drag it down to create one like this and then when you have the correct size it might not be in the middle so hold your space bar in and you can move it around if you want it to be a bit bigger, release, pull in, put in the middle, done. And remember to put it as white over here, it's really important. Or black, whatever you use. Uh, then, we're going to click on File, Save As. We're calling it favicon.png and we're going to select the format as PNG because we're going to use a PNG to ICO converter. We need an ICO for this. And then OK. Then we're going to open Firefox for convertico.com. The link will be in the description as for the link to download these programs. Also, you can use this technique in Notepad, anything else. Uh, didn't I say that? I don't know. Well, anyway, uh, click Browse. And we're just going to take favicon.png and click Convert. Then right click, click here to download and save link as. In Internet Explorer, it's going to be save target as. Then we're just going to call it favicon.ico. Save. It will take a bit longer than other picture files, I think. Okay, then. Now, the next thing you want to do is open a Dreamweaver or Notepad or anything else you might use. Uh, we're just going to open this in Adobe Bridge because that way we can drag the favicon in. Uh, what I mean by that is we want to put the favicon file into Dreamweaver but we can't use that by Internet Explorer Windows Explorer sorry so we're just going to open Bridge if you have Dreamweaver you have Bridge as well and see the favicon is really small now just minimize and select it and put it into the images tab and here we have favicon.ico okay now the, re the very last part we have to do is go on code view and then we have to put this code anywhere between the opening head tag you know that by if you have if you know about HTML 
you might know that the opening doesn't have a slash here. If it had, it would be a closing one. But this is an opening head tag, and the closing head tag is anywhere. I mean, it can be anywhere for you, because we don't really have the same sex, right? And this is the closing head tag. Also, this I mean, this is my site on how to make money online. Go go ahead and check it out. It's www.moredetailsformoney.tk. Okay then, we are going to. This is our title, our title over here. We're just going to click the end of it and hit return. Then we're going to enter this code. We're just going to call this opening bracket. I don't know what it's called. Link. Oh. Link space REL equals double quote shortcut icon double quote space R now H R E F F uh, equals double quote and uh, double quote again and we're just going to put our thingy in the middle of the two double quotes and now we have to browse for where the uh, favicon is if you might remember it's in images so we're just going to type in images 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 and now slash favicon dot ico and that's basically the code you need now let's oh yeah no we need one more t more and more thing uh... we're just going to hit closing no closing uh, bracket. We remember this. So this is the only part of code you need. The only little code you need for this. It's ex well, they haven't really put in anything to uh, in the Dreamweaver or font page to make this easier. But this is not really hard. I mean, it's just for a line of code. And um, yeah, so let's just check out if it works. So we're just going to hit this little globe here and preview in Firefox. Save the changes. And here we have it. We have our little fav icon over here, over here. And if you put it on a bookmarks, it's over there as well. So yeah, that's basically how you put a fav icon on any of your sites. But this is by far the most important part, I think. Well, it's all important, but this is a really important part. When you upload this to your site, everything has to be the same, or to your hosting site. Everything has to be the same as it is uh, when you're working on it on the computer. So yeah, that. That's it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, check out my partner's channel. Uh, well, not well, just there in the description. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Bye.